Oh, and knocked away by number four, Hessen. Great job to knock that ball away. Just a little, little short. If he'd have thrown it on out, Cox was back there. He just couldn't get it. Need to have a little bit more air underneath that one. A lot of times Cox will come back and just take that out of the air, but a little bit short. Third down. Good, deal. Deal. Good defensive play. For Prescott here, they don't necessarily have to get the first down. This may be four down territory. Just need to get some positive yards here. Thompson now in the backfield. Prescott trying to get them to jump a little bit on that play. About eight seconds, gonna have to get it off. Four. Johnson's gonna drop back to pass. Get some pressure from the outside. He turns, he throws deep. Oh, he's throwing it behind the receiver. Thompson's got it! He wanted to go! Oh, he took down Cole! Touchdown! Oh, God, no! Good job, Bucky! Walk the ball! Walk the ball! Walk the ball! Great! That's one of those that's just a, just a jump ball, and he wanted it worse than the defender. And when the defender did, he did get, get the ball. There was nobody there to get him. And it scored. Great play. Thompson, Roll two. Thompson came back and got the ball. Cox didn't a while ago. Yeah. That's what was the difference in that play. Robin on now on for the extra point. Hold is down. Kick is up. And it is good. And I believe it is good. good. 10.49 to go here in the first half, the first quarter. Biscuit leads seven to nothing on the Bank of Delight touchdown. That's what we needed, Jim. Come out and establish the offense, put points on the board, put the pressure back on Boonville. Great play for Thompson to go up and get that ball. He wanted it worse than the defender did. <clears throat> And I think there's going to be a lot of plays like that tonight, yeah. both sides. There's going to be a lot of 50-50, like it just depends who wants it the worst, Jim, who makes their breaks. Robin Allen will get set to kick it away now for Prescott. Expect to do similarly the same thing, you know, that high kick like we did last week against McGee. I think we'll see the same thing. Difference with this week is there's a lot of wind blowing yes. against Prescott right now. You know, that pass kind of hanging up there. That yep. wind is really coming out of the west. Is it? That wind got, is going to play make a big difference. Got Robertson, we got Hessen, and we have Dobbs back deep to receive for the Bearcats. Oh, ball fell off the tee. Probably will have to have somebody hold. I don't know whether they'll, they may give him one more yeah, chance one more before they bring him, someone in. Rucker will hold the ball now on the tee. That's, sometimes that can affect just a little bit on your kickoff because you're not used to it. Well, you're not used to it, and also you're taking one defender out of play. Right. Yeah, they're going to let Jeffrey Williams hold it. You want Rucker down there where he can get on the tackle. Robert Don's kick, it's high. And they're not going to fair catch it either. 21 is going to take it in the air. Missed tackle. He'll get down under the edge of the sideline, and he'll get out and pass the 50-yard line. Great return there by Jeremy Elliott. About, about the same, they're going to start at the 50, so it's going to be a very good position for them also. And that's one of those things, if you don't fair catch it, you better make positive right. out of it. But that's the thing about it. If you got it room and you had good blockers, and he did, he had good protection, so he had no problem receiving it and running it. So both teams give, give good field position to the offense. This deep in this offense will look very similar, similar to the last few weeks. McGee, uh, as well as Clarksville, or Clark Clinton, excuse me. They'll look a lot more like Clinton than anybody. Slinker gives the ball to Elliott. Excuse me. That was Dobbs. We should be used to playing this because they've been playing. We yes. play several wing teams we play. Right. They're going to be very similar to a lot of teams we played, so it shouldn't be any surprise on the defense. Got a lot side. bigger, looks like stronger linemen yeah. on the, on the Boomville front line. 
Now they go more to a power backfield. Pitch goes to Carson Ray. He'll be stopped close to the first down. He, he, I believe he does have the first down. Carson Ray comes to him a, a great line of running backs here in Boonville. His daddy was a thousand yard rusher. His grandfather was a thousand yard rusher. His great uncle was a thousand yard rusher and he's a thousand yard rusher. Well, Boonville's always had a tradition of really good runners. Yes. They have been a running team over the years. They're a power football team. That's right. And that's what they're gonna live or die by. The Ray family is in the backfields of like us having a band hook. Yeah. Slinker gives the ball to Hessen over the right side. He'll be out to close to another first down. That's what you're going to see. You got, you got to stay home because yep. there's a lot of moving parts. You've right. got to stay and play your position because there's a lot of off tack, off misdirection runs. Right. <clears throat> they may not have a lot of blazing speed, but they've got strong, disciplined runners. They run hard. Two receivers to the right. Hessen in motion. Ball gives to Carson over the right side. He's got a lot of room. Breaks free up the middle. Johnson will get him down about the 10-yard line. First down, Bearcats. It may be looked like a shootout. Yeah, They're going to have the ball see. last, but we'll see. Some defense will have to step up. Got to keep pounding, keep pounding. Hopefully you can can uh, cause a turnover and, and stop the drive here. First and 10 from the 11. Split backs in the backfield. Almost like the old flex bone that Arkansas used to run. And you're gonna have a timeout, Boonville. Nine minutes to go here in the first quarter. We've got a bank of the Prescott timeout. Boodle may have seen something on the defense they didn't like, and they want to make sure they don't make mistakes. They're going to try to get it right. Call that timeout and make sure everything's clicking. You know, this is definitely going to be one of those games you've got to make the most of every opportunity you have. Every possession is going to be extremely precious. Well, Boodle doesn't have any really standout, big, tall, heavy, right. heavy kids. But they're all pretty, pretty good size. Yes. All are pretty much uniform. There's nothing. There's no big ones and there's no little ones. They all look just about alike. Look very solid. They're, yeah. they're, they're yeah. kind of short, they're, stocky. Yeah, you can say that. They're, they're solid straight across. First and ten, Bearcats. Ball placed on the 11-yard line of Prescott. And this way you got you got to play your play your positions, Jim, because they're gonna run it, run it, run it, and then they're yep. gonna pop one over the middle. Hessen in motion. Slinker gives the ball to Ray over the right side. He hits the corner, and he's in the end for a touchdown. Just power football, Jim. They pulled right. both offside offensive linemen. Had more person on that side, more people on that side than you can block. That's Just right. old timey smash mouth football. And that's what Boone was known for. Yes. Methodical, disciplined, fundamental. They're gonna block you. Close splits, they're just gonna line up and, and block you. Kent's extra point is up, and it is good. So with 8.56. Eight hey, fifty-six to go in the first quarter. Seven to seven. Two, two touchdowns. Eight fifty-six left in the first quarter. So, so who makes the first flinch, Jim? So who's right. going to be able to hold up to the pressure? <clears throat> and you can tell this field got a pretty good rain on it last oh, night. Yeah. You can see it was, it's already getting pugged up on that side. All the running, all the play has been on the far hash marks. That's right. Already showing some wear and tear on it. Kent will be set to kick it away. Expect to see another, probably uh, 
short kick again. <laughs> right. I don't know whether. Truthfully, I, Jim, they've seen the film. They don't want to kick it deep right. to our speed. Right. They're going to cut it, try to cut it short. Don't let our men get a head of steam up and get some speed going. Another short kick. It's going to be a fair caught this time by Rucker. Good play. And Russ going to have Good a great job. field position. Good job. He fair caught that one just like he should. Take the ball at the 46-yard line. Had a man right in his face. He did good, clean catch. You're always hoping just something goes wrong where you might can take advantage of something there. <coughs> well, that's one of those you got to make a good, clean catch because yes. too many bad things can happen right there close. First and 10, Curly Wolves, second offensive possession of the game. Game's tied 7-7. Seven to seven. J.D. Weaver lined up in the backfield now as an extra blocker. Johnson will give to George, looking for room up the middle. He's met by the linebacker there for a gain of about three. Good tackle that time. Good, solid. The safe between the numbers tackle. Yeah. Couldn't tell if that was Ray that met him. I believe it was at the linebacker spot. He met him right there in the hole. It was 30, yeah, Carson. That was Carson Ray, 33. Pick up, pick up a four. Good, good, good game. Johnson again to George. Off to the right side. He'll be up close to the first down. Be a third and a down and about two, maybe a long one. Running right the same time formation. Just yep. line up, power football, run it at you. You got to stop me. Johnson gives the ball, gonna keep it. Pulls it out, I believe he'll be right at the sticks. He's gonna be really close. With his height, he's gotta get low. He can submarine underneath and get the extra yardage. And I, th I think he got a bad spot on that one too, Jim. Man on this side was marking it further yep. up, but they marked it back. Fourth down. Prescott looking to go for it here. Like I say, really didn't think that was a bad idea, but he's just got to get This is a position game. You've right. got to make everything on your position. Fourth and ER. Johnson's going to keep it. Right side, he's got a hole. He breaks free in the second down. First down, Curly Wolves. Good play, Jim. Every... That was a great play there on, on the quarterback's position. They, they sold out to stop the run. Up short, he broke through that line. There was nobody behind him. 15 yard gain there on a Southern Graphics first down. Ball given to George up the middle again. He's hit at the hole, Break, broke away from one tackler, but got about a yard. Ball marked at the 28 yard line. He's up second eight. Got Thompson in the backfield replacing George. Little change of pace. Thompson um, got a little more speed. Johnson <clears throat> gives the ball to Thompson. He cuts it upfield. He has a little bit of room. I uh, gained a couple. A little bit of a late hit there, but he was holding up. He yep. held up on it. He really didn't try to hit him. Third, third and about three looks like. Good gain there by Thompson, maybe about six yards. Good gain is positive gains. You right. no, no backwards. Four down territory now for the Curly Wolves. Johnson, he's going to keep it up the middle. Off to the right, breaking back over to the middle. He should have a first down. First down. <coughs> Good power football head. Everybody in front of him, he just tucked it, tucked it and ran. Pick up a big first down. That'll be a <coughs> just get automotive first down. Good drive here by the Curly Wolf offense. <clears throat> Johnson gives the ball to Thompson. He cuts back inside. Tried to get back outside. Good tackle by Heston. Oh, a game a touchdown saving by Heston because if he broke that tackle, he was gone. Good run. Picked up about eight on that one. 
Thompson's limping just a little, but second down and two. Johnson looking to keep right up the middle. He has the first down, almost to the end zone. We'll tackle about the two. Oh, and a late flag there. Not sure what that was. We, we jerked Johnson's helmet off. I don't know what they call, but they jerked his have helmet a, off. Should have a max tire first down there. And then a flag late after the play was over. Dead ball, personal foul, face mask, face mask. home boot. Right. That's what it just about had to be. We jerked that helmet off. Just about had to be. Gonna put it on about the one yard line. First and goal, Coley Wolves. Johnson gives to Thompson. He bobbled a little bit, and he'll be stopped short of the goal line. Great tackle there by number 77, and that was Court Mazel. That'll make it a second down in maybe they're, three. They're saying it's on the three, Jim. I can't tell from this angle. They bring Alex George in to give a little bit more power. Johnson's going to keep it. Cuts it inside. Another flag. Probably going to be holding with where that one is. And it, it, he did signal holding on number five. Yep. Out of back press, get up 10 yards. That's a penalty you don't need down here in this part of the end zone, or this part of the field. Keeps you out of the end zone. Got a back press get up to about the 13. Got a second down and goal situation. Ryan Johnson, he's going to keep it, looking for room around the left side. He's going to cut it back upfield. He'll be tackled for a gain of about two. Good job there by the Moonful defense to square that off. Well, they just strung that out, Jim. Yep. They strung it out, and he had no place. He tried to cut up, but there was no place to cut. Gonna bring in four receivers now, so that's gonna spread the defense out a little bit. Gives you a little bit more room to do some things. Can make it a third down in about 11, maybe 12. Lots of receivers out, but they're not split out. They're just in close. But it's gonna call a timeout. timeout. Good decision. They looked at the defense, see what the defense was giving them. They didn't like it. They're going to call another play. Have an all care timeout here. The Prescott Curly Wolves and the Bearcats are all even at seven. We got 4.05 to go in the first quarter. And this is exactly, Ralph, what we thought this game was going to be. Yeah, like. that's, it's, it's panning out just where we was at. It's just going to be smash mouth football. Who makes the least mistakes? Who wants it the worst? <laughs> You know, you get to these kind of games and when both teams are, are, are solid on both sides of the ball, you know, it, it's all, it all boils down like you, we've talked before, is, is who's going to make that mistake. But, you know, you get down here in these situations, uh, a defensive stop is huge. Yeah. Uh, it's all about possessions and who can do what with the possessions they have. Well, and, you know, more than, more than I don't know, I say more likely to be it'll be a four down. I'm not sure. You know we oh, do yeah. we do oh, have, yeah. we do have field goal kicker. Right. But I don't think three points are going to win this. No. One. It's going to be it's going to be who can who can score the most. Looks like last possession who scores. Right. Holy Wolves come out of their timeout ready for their play. Going to split out three receivers to the right. 
Uh, trip, trips right, single, George is single in the backfield with Johnson. They'll have double coverage on Cox. Johnson, he's going to look to run, and he is hit in the backfield by three Bearcats. Nowhere to go. The wow. line did not block at all on that play. They're going to try the field goal. That play was designed for him to run to the right. Yes. And obviously the folks on the left side of our line did not block. No. He, there was three Bearcats in every time he turned around. Prescott will attempt a 32-yard field goal. Robert Down had a huge field goal against Clinton. Rucker awaits the snap. Little high, he gets it down. Robert Down's kick, it's up. And it is good. It is good, great. It's one of those things, Jim, we, we took the points, and that's great. Yes. You want to put points on the board every opportunity you can get. No dry possessions. We need to score on every possession, one way or the other, whether it's three or seven. I agree. Points are points, and, right. and, and every point you make tonight is going to be big. It's time for Curtis Wolf's defense to step up and make a stop here. Yep. See, see which defense can come up and make a stop. And that's, right. what it's, that's what it's going to boil down to, who makes the bit, most stops. See if I can get any scores up for the other games that are going on this evening. Of course, the main one that involves anybody concerned with our game would, of course, be the Osceola and Ryzen game. Some championship games going on in Little Rock today and also right. tomorrow. They postponed, postponed, pushed everything back one day. So there's lots of, lots of athletics, lots of games going on in Arkansas. All right. A lot of bad weather last night, so it was a good decision to push these games out one night. Robert Don set to kick it away. High kick, Robert Don. Oh, it's right there, Nolan. He goes and gets the ball. Wow. Who will fall? There was no fair kick. He had the ability to do that. He's got. There was no fair catch. There was no fair catch. He None. can go for the ball. It went 10 yards. It's, there was it's no his fair ball. Catch. Come on, make your call. He has to make a fair catch signal. Wow. Jim, I think the referee's the only one that saw a fair catch on that one. There's nobody here who saw that one. Well, unless, and if only, only and the only way is if they have to allow the receiver to catch the ball, and I don't think so. If it so. goes 10 yards, it's, it's legal live. ball. It's a live ball. Wow. Boonville has the football. That's a free kick, Jim. The ball is at the 47-yard line. I'm going to look that one up at halftime. Sleeker gives the ball to Hessen. He's going to be stopped for a gain of about three out in about midfield. Well, been all the possessions have started right around the That's 50. Right. Everybody starting with a good field position. The defense got to step up. Second down and seven. A lot of times that can be a, a fire starter, though, for the defense. It can get you fired up and playing a little bit harder. Can't, can't worry about that one. you got to make your call. Got a great crowd here from Prescott. Ball pitched to Ray. Rucker got a foot. Could not get him down, but the rest of the Curly Wolves will. Going to bring up a third down and five. 
Turn up third down along five. Jim, just looking around, you got all the way, they got a bank all the way around the yes. stadium. Folks standing around, they're sitting on all the banks. This is a really, really, I mean, this is it. Right. Big play right here, Curtis Wolves. Boonville has a lot of good fans here. And there's a lot of people here from all over. They just come to see a ball game. Right. Big down right here. Make a stop. This is, this is the loudest I've seen our crowd in a long time. Listen in motion. Ball given to Ray. No, Sleeker kept it. He's going to have a first down. Great wow. job by Sleeker to pull that wow. out. Sold that one big time. Because Gillard had Ray wrapped up for no gain. It's a really good play on that one. Fooled the defense, faked it up the middle, and cut around the edge. Big first down right there. Gain of 10 yards. First and 10, Bearcats. All right, Curly Wolves thought they had them bottled up. Let's come back and make a play right here. Hessen in motion. Sleeker. Gives the ball to number two around the left side. Oh, he made a great move. He's still on his feet, still on his feet, still running. And he'll finally be down at the 10-yard line, but a great run that time by well, Robertson. That's just a wheel fire right there. He, he didn't go out of bounds. Everybody thought he was going out of bounds. Yep. Everybody kind of hesitated. He kept pushing it going down the field. Great run. 28-yard gain there by Robertson. Great job. Again, they're down to the 10 yard line. So you get a you get a situation down here. Prescott had the holding call on their possession, which really killed their drive. <clears throat> Prescott has to come up with a big stand right here on defense. <clears throat> Hessen in motion. They had a pitch. They didn't call they're it. They're not gonna call it, Jim. Colson Johnson will come up with the tackle. Ball start! <laughs> they did have man on the outside flinch big time, but they didn't call it, Jim. You got you got to make your calls. Referee missed that one. Of course, he was staring at the coaches there, and they were saying the same thing. They missed that one big time. Well, Should be the last play of the first quarter. They also had a hold right on that fire play, but they didn't call it either. Hessen in motion. Ball given to Hessen. Jacoby Nolan's there for a big run. Good job, Good job. Jacoby. Step up, make a big play right there. And that's what it's going to take. Somebody's right. going to step up and make a play. We've got six seconds. That's going to run us down to the end of the first quarter. Press get ahead, 10-7. Second quarter. That'll end the first quarter. We have a shelter insurance ending of the first quarter. Prescott is leading 10 to 7. We get down here now. It's a third down and 12, almost identical to what Prescott had a few moments ago. What can Prescott do to keep Boonville out of the end zone? Well, this is a discipline play, Jim. Right. They're going to have to stay on sides because they're going to try to draw them off to start with, and yep. they're going to have to play their position because there are going to be lots of moving parts. They're going to have to stay in position and make the play because Boonville's going to try to trick us here. Right. They're going to do a motion or something, <laughs> you know, the, maybe the, the fake handoff up the middle and go around yep. the end, but you've got to play your position. They haven't done anything to try to throw the ball tonight. This is an opportunity where you might see them try to hit a, a back out of the backfield or a tight end. You've got to really make sure you're playing your play, your position. And that's what I'm talking about. Every, everybody's got a everybody has got a job to do here. Right. And if you slack off on one position, you're going to have a problem. And that's what you got to do. You got to play discipline ball because there's it's it's very methodical offense. Right. right. Well, you know, you you think about the way these two teams play. You can almost expect probably maybe have eight to ten possessions each half. So far, we've had four possessions in that first quarter. Defense, 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 defense. coming out a little different formation. I got trip. I got twins to the left. Robertson goes in motion, and they have a first ball. 
There we go. That's what we need right there. Make them think. Right. That'll make it a third down and 17. Really changes up what they want to do. It's not just third and 17, it's third and goal. Right, right. Big down right there. Very proud of our fans tonight. They're, they're really into the game from the very beginning. Boomer well, coming out, got one split right, trips to the left. Kind of emptied the backfield out. Slinker rolls out to the left, looking for a receiver. He's going to run it himself. He's going to be dropped right about the 10 yard line. Good, time, good job by Jacoby Nolan to come up and make him. Well, you had good coverage on the back end. There was right. no place for him to throw it. He had to pull it down and run. Make it a fourth down. Ball is marked at the 12-yard line. Boonville's going to choose to go for it here. Stay on side. Yep. They'll get in the shotgun formation. We're at twin, twin right, single left. Lay goes in motion. Going in motion on the back. There's the pass. Over his head, incomplete. Preston will take over. That's one of those, Jim, move out thought yourself. They see yeah. a ray off on a motion off, trying to, try to distract everybody. Did not get distracted. Had great coverage on the back end. Great defensive stand. That's what it's going to take. Herder Wolves take over first and 10 on the 12-yard line. There's the first stop of the evening. I think there'll be more as the game kind of gets going, but the first one is always the biggest. Make that first stop. Well, this will be one the punters may get to watch the game tonight. Right. We'll have a Cofields change of possession here as the Curly Wolves take over and deepen their own territory. Thompson will be in the backfield along with Johnson. Quinn receivers to the left. Just Cox to, excuse me, Franklin, I believe, to the right. Ball given to Thompson. He might get out to the 15, 14 or 15. That was Cox on the right side, excuse me. Good tough, hard run for about a yard and a half yes. on that one. Make it a second down in seven. <clears throat> Prescott just trying to get themselves some room to get out of here. Get a first down or two. Johnson, he's going to keep it. Might should have pitched that one. Held that one a little bit too that long. Bad decision. He should have pitched that one. He had, he had room out on the side. He had time to do it. He just was indecisive. That's one of those, Jim, you got to make your decision quick. Because right. it's going to close in a hurry. It did. Brings it to a third and nine. Big down from the Prescott offense. Really the first time they've been in a, a, a tough, you know, situation here. You, you've got to, got to make sure you take care of the ball. Prescott will go with. Down to six Cox. seconds. Go. They're going to have to call a timeout right here. They're going to have to use their second timeout. Couldn't, a, couldn't get set. Changed the play and couldn't get set. Time to get it off. I have a Firestone timeout here is. Uh, <clears throat> Prescott is having a, a real tough go at it. Trying to keep up with the uh, Alabama and Georgia game, and Alabama now is ahead 35 to 28. Which is not surprising. No, they were down 28 to 14, and they've come back. I, 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 I'm not so sure that's not the national championship game right there. Yeah, probably, probably so. <laughs> Big down right here is third, third and about nine. See what the Curly Wolves come up with. Don't want to have a turnover. Right. If you don't make your yards, punt it out of there, you're punting with the wind, so not a bad thing, but we want to make this first down. Yeah, you just don't want to make, make a mistake. You've got to make a good offensive uh, play call here. Be great to get a first down or two if you can, but you are backed up deep in your own territory. So we just don't want a turnover because that's, right. that's, that's one of the big differences in the game would be a turnover. And obviously, Boonville's respecting our speed on the outside because right. they're giving a 10, 12, 15-yard cushion. Need... 
Johnson's going to drop back to pass. He's looking deep. He's got Cox. Cox is there. Cox, oh, couldn't come up with it. He could, he, he should have had it. That was the ball he should catch. Catch him a ball, but that's just one of those, that, that Boneville defender got a hand in yep. there, couldn't, couldn't bring it down. He, he makes a lot of those catches, so I, I, no fault to him other than you just got to make the play. Well, and, just gotta and, make it. And in, in a game like this, Jim, you got to take your shots. That's right. Because if you don't, they're yeah. going to just start packing it in, packing it That's in, packing right. it. You've got to take some shots to kind of make them respect that long ball. The only thing I would like to see him do is, is maybe do it a, a, a post pattern where you just cut that off and you got separation. Makes it a lot easier throw and catch. Johnson punts it away. Uh, end over end kick. It might have been might have been touched. Boomba will take over at the 46-yard line. Not quite the punt we wanted, but it did get it out from under that end zone. So it, it, it is setting up Boonville at the 46-yard yep. line. So we've had two stops on the back-to-back -back possessions. Now Prescott does still have that lead, 10-7. to seven. These are two good defenses also. You know, we talked about their offenses, but <clears throat> by the in state, uh, in the state, both of these teams have top five defenses in class AAA. Yeah, they don't, neither one of them gives up very many no. points. So it, they do have a good defense, but you look right. at it, two good offenses, pretty evenly matched on both sides. Slinker keeps it. He will get a, close to a first down. I believe he'll have it. Nice job there, good quickness on his part. It is, he's gonna be a little short, Jim. It's gonna bring up second down and real short. Okay, a little, little more than I thought. Second about, about one. Slinker's pretty slimy. Yes, he, he is. He fakes that in and cuts around that end, and he's small, so it's hard to pick him up. Yep. But that's where our de defensive end has got to, got to control that edge. Well, We're that, doing a good job on the interior. And that's kind of what we got into last night with my right. son's team playing. That defensive end was not controlling the outside yep. line, and it, it just gets you in trouble. Pitch to Ray. He'll have a first down. And he'll have a good run, too. He ran over a couple of players there. Curly Wolves on the left side. He's just a good, tough, he's a strong runner. He's going to put his head down yep. and hit you. Did pick up that first down somewhere about the 30-yard line. He's a bowling ball. Yeah, he's not very tall, but he is he is built stout. First and 10, Boonville on the 30-yard line. Sleeker under center. Ball given to Robertson that time. He'll be stopped. Good to me, that was Brasher. Cam Brasher, I don't know what the flag was. He was almost in a position for a hole, but I didn't see it. I don't know what he, he's calling a face mask. I don't know. Looks like it is going to be a bent against yeah, Bone, but holding. Holding. As I say, I couldn't. That was the only thing I could think of unless there was some of, some form of face mask, and I didn't see that. No, I said, the runner was facing us, so you could see there was not a face mask, but right. I couldn't think of anything else. It almost had to be a hole. <laughs> First time I think Brasher was on the carry, he goes off a little bit limping there. First down and 20 now for the Bearcats. 20, 21, even 21. behind line of scrimmage. Slinker gives the ball to Ray. Good hard run there by Ray, he gained about eight. Very physical runner. He's just gonna put his head down, he's gonna run over somebody. You gotta hit him kids. low, cause you're, you're not gonna get him down high. Yeah. He's got a good sense of balance, good gravity point. Yes. He, he's gonna be tough to bring down. Bring up second and 14. Second down, 14. Single, single split to the left. Fire, fire formation. Ball coming back Ball on the opposite side. He cuts it back up the middle. He'll gain about five. Third down and eight. I 
I believe the fans will tell you whether this is a, a successful play or not. Twin, twins left. Motion left. Sleeker gives to Ray. He's going to be stopped. Gain of about three, maybe. To the Dillard on the bottom of that 26-yard line, fourth down. I'm sure it's four down territory. Four, four, four the down, about five or six. About six, looks like. About five. Big down again. Big play for the Curly Wolf defense right here. Don't jump. And I believe Boonville's gonna call a timeout. Good discipline on the Curly Wolves. They held on it. Boonville's trying to get them to jump. Call a timeout, Boonville. That'll be there. Both teams got one left. Right. That'll be their second time out of the of the half. Good discipline football, Jim. They held a position, didn't jump off sides. Be a bank of delight timeout here is. You know, this game has been a fight. See what our scores are here. Osceola, seven, rising 14. A very good game there. We knew that was going to be a good game as well. I, I do believe the four best teams made it to the semifinals without a doubt. I think so. I, I, I kind of favor rising in that other side of the bracket too. just because they're, they're going to have a little advantage because of tradition, I think. Right. But then you look at OZL and a lot of times they've been in the championship yeah. games too. So I kind of like pick your poison on that one. Rising's at home and that's a tough place it's to play. Tough. No, I believe, I believe they're... Are they at Osceola? Or I don't know. I, don't, I believe I, they're at Osceola. I, I believe that is correct. I know Ryzen's a tough place yeah. to play. But no, they're playing at Osceola yeah. tonight. That's right. Because they were on the top end of that bracket. We, we made a long trip to Osceola yeah. a few years ago. Last year. <laughs> <laughs> Big down here for the Curly Wolf defense. Everybody got to play your position, Jim, because they're going to try to sneak somebody out here. They're going to kind of no way split. It's all power football. Watch your motion. Da, da, excuse me, Carson goes in motion. Pitches over to Robertson. He's going to get the first down. Good play call. I don't think we've seen that tonight. This power football line them up, and we're going to try to run over you. It's like a power sweep. You got Carson Way leading the way over there. You got power sweep with three lead blockers. Yes. Almost like the old Green Bay power sweep. Well, that's one of you want to jump to that side, but you, if you jump to that side, they got motion coming back. You never know. First and ten, Bearcats. Sleeker gives the ball to Ray. He's stopped, and boy, I tell you right there, if if Johnson and Tinsley don't make that tackle, it's a touchdown. Yeah, there was nobody back there, but they did. Went, they went, we talked earlier about going low on him. They yep. both went low and took his legs out. Good gained, tackle. Gain of about two. Yeah, you've got to take him down. Don't let him get started. Five eighteen to go here in the first half. Boonville driving. And Hessen in motion, ball given to Ray. Sneaker's going to keep it. He's going to be stopped for no gain. He is going to be Good consumed. Gersh stayed home, didn't, didn't bite on it. He did the right thing by pulling it because Ray was hit right at the line of yeah. scrimmage, but Gersh was right there to wrap up Slinker. Well, they had the motion going to the right. We could have cheated to the right and got caught, but Gersh stayed home and played his position and made the play. Bring up a big third and seven right here on the 14-yard line. Third and seven. Robertson gets set, pitches to Ray, and he's going to be hit right. He's going to be stopped short. Probably gave him about three, but there was holding two. Jacoby Nolan was being held, and he was letting the official know about it, but they didn't call it. Bring up another big fourth down. Looks like fourth and about two or three. Fourth down now. Again, Boomer going to be going for it here. Yeah. 
Fourth down and three. Who is going to make the play? Hessen in motion. Ball given to Robertson. Oh, he got free. Ah. He'll get the first down. Two guys had an opportunity in the backfield. Rucker was there, made made, made the correct call, made the right, made the right position, could not bring him down. I can, I can see that Darius Thompson is limping, and that's that's not a good sign because you, it's an offensive and defensive player. Looks like it's his right leg. It'll be a first and goal now for the boon, bear, bearable boon cat. Bearcats. Ball given to the fullback. Don't he's think he got in that time. No signal. He's going to be a little short. Two fourth down conversions on this possession already for Boonville. Darren ran off the field better that time. Slinker gives the ball to Ray. He's hit right at the goal line. He did get in the end zone, touchdown. Just, just good hard run, nose, oh, yeah. nose down and go, go to the end zone. Kent will be on for the extra point, a very important extra point here. Hessen waits for the snap. Kick is up. It is good. And Boonville takes a 14 to 10 lead. What's important here for Prescott is they can't get away from their game plan. They got to stick to what they're doing, stick to what has gotten them here so far. They just need to get a good possession, go down here and score. Well, there's no reason to panic. No. You, got, you play your game. You know, you know what got you here. <coughs> right. Play that game. Still plenty of time in the first half here to get some points on the board. Curly, Curly Wolf coach is talking to the players up close about that fair yes. catch. Make sure you get that called if you're going to call it. Yep. Don't leave any doubt there. And the thing is, the players that are in front of the receiver have got to be the ones telling him what to do because he's looking at the ball. Well, <clears> those <throat> players in the front need to stick somebody. Right. You can't let a man go don't, free. Don't let them get them a free run. Kent. We'll kick the ball deep. Franklin's going to take it at the 25. He's going to come around to the right left side. He has a little bit of a wall. He will be stopped at about the 37-yard line. Good positive run. Held on that ball. No turnover. He hesitated. Yeah, that's one thing you can't do on a, on a cut kickoff return. Don't hesitate. You've got to get ahead of steam and make your decision and go with it. Get it and go. Ruskie will have the, their possession here beginning at the 37-yard line. Great football game. Just exactly what we expected, hard-nosed football. George Line up here, make some positive. Don't turn the ball over. Don't give it back to Boonville. Give them time. George gets the ball up the middle. Not much room there. And really collapsed that left side that time. Prescott's got to have better blocking on that offensive line. One of the few times Prescott hasn't had positive yards. Well, they got positive, it was just one. Right. <laughs> a, a really positive gain, I guess not, I should not say. Not much gain on yes, it, but it yes. was positive. Johnson, gonna roll out to his right. He's gonna have some pressure there. Throws it to Cox, he's open. He's at the 40, 50, 45, catch it back upfield. 
will be down about the 41 yard line. Nice job. That's kind of like one of those Tebow shovel passes yep. over the top. 21 yard gain. Looked like he was going to run it and just flipped it over the top to Cox and got a good positive gain on it out to, looked like about the 41 yard line. Still 156 on the clock. Johnson, he's going to keep it. He's got nowhere to go. He's just looking somehow to get some room. He's going to throw it deep. He's got Franklin. He's got it. Great catch. Great job by Franklin to go get open. Well, that Johnson threw it out there and said go get yes. it. Franklin went and got it. Be first down inside the 10-yard line. Looks like about the 8-yard line. 136 left. That's one of those you just want it. And that's what Franklin, he said, I want that one. And Johnson got it out there, and he went to get it. Great job by Johnson to get enough time to, to get throw enough, it. Get enough time, broke back to the left to get him by a little extra time. Johnson's going to keep it. He's going to break it out to the left, cuts it back inside. He'll get down to about the one. Good job. Good job. Power football. Line up and go. Now the left tackle, that's Payton coming out. He's got problems on his, with his ankle. So that's gonna be a, definitely someone we don't need to lose there. He plays both offense and defensive end. Timeout, we gotta get somebody in there. I hope he's not hurt as bad as, he, as, he, as he's looking like he is. Probably rolled that ankle and that hurts. It does, bad. That's good. Coach Class is getting the play call. 59 seconds left, so there's plenty Got of time. Plenty of time. It's second down and goal from the one yard line. Line up, give those, say, go get it. Power, so power, you power, in power there. packed in tight. Go get it. Ball given to George. Touchdown, he is in there. Touchdown, Curry Wood. Good answer, great answer. Come back. That's what we need, Jim. We need that answer. Fourth down play, Preston drove it out and answered the ball. Great. Two big pass plays on that drive. The best one was, of course, the one that Johnson got himself free, threw a long pass. Franklin made a great diving catch to get us the first and goal. Well, it's just great comeback. Boomer made that really good dive. drive. Made it, picked up a couple fourth down plays. Curtis Woods come back and answered. That's what it's going to take. Need to make this extra point right here. Be a bank of press it. Touchdown. Robin on now on for the extra point. Snap is down. Kick is up. It is good. First oh. lead, 17 to 14. Wow. If that doesn't get you excited, Jim, nothing going to. Oh, this is this is great. It's kind of football you just love to watch. As a fan. It is exciting. Payton's still down on the sideline. I'm not sure. It looks like they're going to try to get him to stand up. You know, usually these uh, playoff games, they have uh, sports medicine crews that are there. You know, I don't even see the uh, paramedics or ambulance group down in the far end zone. They hadn't moved. They are signaling, signaling for the ambulance, Jim. Robert Don will be set to kick it away. I don't even think they realize somebody's hurt watching the ball game. Robert uh, kicks a squib kick. Good kick. It's going to be taken now make by your, Make your coverage right Dobbs. here. Got to make your tackle. Good job. Good coverage right there. Out to the 34-yard, 40-39-yard line. Squib kick, kind of hard to handle. They got good coverage on it. Stopped him inside, inside the 40, about the 38. 39 yard line. Yeah, under the circumstances, it looks like it's a 
bad situation for, for Peyton. Peyton. First and ten now for the Bearcats. Let's see First if they try to left. make a stop right here. It's going to be a timeout called here by Prescott. That'll be their last timeout of the half. 37 seconds left. That's a good timeout to call, Jim. Get everything set. Make sure you don't have any mistakes. Keenan Payton is going to start the second half. Down on the sideline. They're going to bring a stretcher out for him. I see him coming now. So he definitely has a bad a bad you know, situation with his legs. That's not going to be a good thing for Prescott. We have a Southern Graphics timeout here. Prescott call that timeout is to get your defense set. Don't have any mistakes before the half. Go in with that lead because Boonville's going to come out in the second half. They're going to get the ball first. So you need to put, put a good defense together here, stop them, go to halftime and Get, get a regroup and start over. I remember when Keenan, Keenan was a little bitty guy and playing uh, football with my son. Uh, and he's gotten a lot bigger. I'll put, you, put it to you that way. He's gotten a lot taller, a lot bigger. Slinker under center, sends Hessen and Mosage. Kind of a reverse back to Robertson and he'll be dropped for a gain of about three. They do have they do have their one timeout. We're down to 30, 30 seconds on the clock. Osceola and Rising are tied at 20. We know that's going to be a dog fight too. But well, I'm glad that the paramedics are walking slowly over this way. Ball given to Ray. He'll be stopped for a gain of about three, maybe four more. That's going to bring us to the total. That's going to end the first half. That'll bring us to halftime. We thank our sponsors for that first half, Bank of Delight, Bank of Prescott, Southern Graphics, Prescott Automotive, Max Tire, All Care. Shelter Insurance with Eli Ratcliffe, uh, Cofields, and Firestone. And we have a halftime score of 17 to 14. We'll be back with you shortly with the second half.
Getting ready for the second half here is the pressure Cody Wolves. Are ready to finish this thing off in the second half. They lead 17 to 14. Uh, they did take Keenan Payton to the hospital to check out his, to get an x-ray done on his foot. I'm not sure if it's a bad sprained ankle or maybe a possible break, but we'll uh, wait and try to hopefully find out something later on that. Well, as he come off the field, it didn't look that bad, but when he hit the ground, it started looking worse. And yep. some of the folks I talked to said possibly a break, more than likely. You know, as we talked a little bit about the, the possessions and things like that earlier in the game, there were eight possessions in that first half. Each team had the ball four times. The second half is probably going to be just like that. You've got to make sure you capitalize on your possessions. Well, it's, I've, got, I've got some stats here, Jim. Pretty evenly matched. Prescott had six first downs. Boonville had seven. Rushing yards, Prescott had 73. Boonville had 160, which was to be expected because yes. that's what they're going to run. Prescott had 99 passing. Come out the total total offense in the first half 172 Prescott 160 Boneville. Yes, so it's about as close as you can get it. You know, passes Prescott had five attempts, three completed. Boneville had one, it was incomplete. Zero fumbles lost. Prescott had three penalties for 20 yards. Boneville had three for 30 yards. So it's fairly evenly matched all across, as you can see on the scoreboard. Prescott did have one, if you want to call it turnover, it was a turnover on downs, <clears throat> which was a big key stop uh, to keep Boonville out of the end zone. And Prescott had the only punt of the night. Yes. And, and, and I don't expect there'll be a lot of punts in the second half either. <laughs> we did find out at halftime, Osceola is leading Ryzen 25 to 20. So that's a good, good tight game as well. I did talk to uh, someone at halftime and what the officials had called on that uh, kickoff was that one of the re receivers did call a fair catch and that Prescott did not allow them the opportunity to catch the football. We didn't see a fair catch. I don't believe it was a fair catch called because Nolan caught that ball eight foot up in the air way out in front of him. Well, I, I talked to one of the, a person that has been an official in the past, and he said, you've got to give them an opportunity to catch the ball. So that's what it was. But to me, that kid was leaving the territory. Yeah. <laughs> he was not trying to catch that ball. So it should have been, my opinion, Prescott's ball. Right. Should have been a turnover. But the referees didn't see it, and they got the last say. That's right. And that was the only thing I could think of was that could be the, the rule for high school. It may be the rule, period, but it definitely was for high school. I've just never seen that, Jim. No. When, they call it a free kick. Yes. When it goes 10 yards, it's anybody's ball, right. whether it's on the ground or on, in the air. The only, difference, the only difference is if the ball hits the ground first, that yeah. takes that out. Right. It is truly then anybody's ball. Right. <clears throat> Bobby Don will kick it away. Prescott did do a squib kick last time. Let's see what they attempt to do here on this kickoff. And almost all the possessions have started right at the 50-yard line. That's right. Robert Dunn, another squib kick. Dobbs is going to pick it up at the 25, looking to go to the left. Oh, Rucker gets knocked off. And they'll get him dropped Whoa. at about the 30-yard line. Good return. Good hard, good, good hard good tackle. tackle. Good tackle. 30-yard line. Biscuit. Covered lots of ground, but he didn't gain many yards. He picked up about seven on that return. Ball will be marked at the 30. Like we talked about earlier, every possession is, is key. Yes. But this is one of the biggest plays right here. Right. Prescott needs to stop them and keep them from going down and scoring. This is the deepest field position they've had to start with in all night. Starting on their own 30. Hessen in motion. Ball given to Ray. He'll gain about seven. Good run there by Carson Ray. The big key to stopping this kind of an offense is you've got to stop the fullback. Yeah, the whole mechanics of this offense starts with that fullback. Yes. Whether they give it or pull it, mm -hmm. you've got to take that fullback down. Second down and four. Twin, twins left. Ball given to Ray. Good leg drive there, gain of about two.
Third down and two. Need to just cross the 40-yard line for a first down. He'll come out two straight, handing it right off the middle. They're going to come in and fake it and try to get, try to pull that ball and try to go around. Expect to see Hessen or Robertson in motion here. They've used them a lot in these situations. Ball given to Robertson over the left side. He'll have the first down out to about the 43, 44-yard line. Good hard runner. Boy, it looked like they had him stop for a loss, and he just kept his legs turning and, and picked up that first down. He's hard to get down. Not very big, but you got to wrap his legs. He lowers those shoulder pads, and he, he takes that size out of the picture. First and 10 Bearcats. Hessen in motion. Ball given to Ray. He'll gain about two. Defense has played really well tonight. They're really, really tackling well. They have not allowed any big plays. It's just been the, the tough, hard-nosed offense of Boonville on their offensive possessions. Big time for a turnover right here, Ralph. Swing, uh, Hessen in motion, ball given to Robertson. Touch it upfield. And uh, Rucker trying to get him down, finally does about the 30. Rucker's putting a lot of pressure on that up front, but when they break through that front, it was just not many people there. He just made a good hard run. It's a big 26 yard gain there by Robertson. He's been there, I guess you'd say, big play maker. They've had a couple of those, but not. Uh, they've been able. Prescott's been able to avoid a huge, big, you know, a huge game. First and ten. Hessen in motion. Slinker gives the ball to Ray. Gain of about three down to the 25, maybe, maybe four. We're we'll about to 26. Looks like. Bring up a second down and six. Bearcat offense has booed the ball well here to start the second half. Slinker gives the ball to Robertson. Curly Wolves are there this time. Big stop for a loss. They were ready for it. Jim, they played their position. They held it. They didn't go for the fake in the middle. They stayed in position and make the play. And that's what it's got. That's what you got to do with this offense. Make it a third down and about eight. They need to reach the 20-yard line for the first down. Make it a third and seven. Slinker, double reverse this time, trying to get the ball to Robertson again. He'll have the first down. He'll be down inside, close to the 15-yard line. Great play call there by the Boonville coaching staff. Prescott, Prescott bit on the motion to the yep. right. There was nobody out there to stop him when he got to the end. They want the ball in two's hands as much as they can get it there. First down now for the Bearcats on the 16-yard line, driving. First possession of the second half. Four minutes have been taken off the clock so far. Slinker going to keep it around the right side. He's going to get tackled about the nine by Thompson and Rucker. Gain of seven. And Jim, on that one, he rode that fullback all the way to the yep. line and pulled it. And that's there. That's been there a few times. Slinker pitches the ball to Ray. Oh, good job that time by Manolan. Great stop. He was getting a, a, four, a forearm too right in the face. A stiff arm in the face, yes. and he broke right through it and made the tackle. Stiff arm was the word I was looking for. 
stiff arm in the face mask. Yeah. <laughs> Third down and about four. Sleeker again gives the ball. He gets Robertson ran that left side. Oh, and a good tackle that time by Gilly. Oh, the right flag. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to get in trouble, but that was not that man's call. He could not make no. it. No. He called a face mask. And I don't think it was a face mask. I think that's what I saw the official say, and there was no face mask there. Oh, uh, that's a bad call. Let's just gotten a few of those tonight already. That man wasn't even in position to make the call. Now the Color Wolf defense has to come up huge here because they're going to have a first and goal now at the five-yard line. Prescott's got to come up with something big. They need a big turnover. They need some penetration to get in the backfield. This is a play where we need Colton Johnson or, or Kobe Gillard to get in the backfield and disrupt what Boonville's trying to do. Robert Robertson coming back on the field. Slinker gives the ball to Robertson. He is stopped for a loss. Good job. Everybody held a position. They yes. filled the hole, and there was three Colonel Wolves waiting on him. Hopefully here in a minute when they try to do that, Colton Johnson will be back there. He can knock that ball away. Preston can get a, a turnover. Second down and goal. Ball at the five-yard line. You gotta watch watch the motion and off offside. Boomba quick to the line of scrimmage. Slinker gives the ball to Ray. He's gonna keep it. He pulls it out. First down, touchdown, Boomba. <laughs> Well executed by the Boonville Bearcats. Well, Prescott bit on the fake, and there was nobody out there on the end. That's where and Coach Patrick is talking to Franklin, telling him, you got to stay home there. There's nothing you can do in the middle of the field. That's your guy. Kent on for the extra point. Hessen will hold. Kick is up. And uh, it is good. No, it's no good. That's a big miss right there. 5.28 to go here in the third quarter. And Boonville leads 20 to 17. <laughs> Boonville took over six minutes off the clock, but Ralph, and that's what we were talking about. There's not gonna be a lot of possessions. Prescott will get their first possession of the second half right now. They've got to make sure they can drive the ball down the field. It's, it's a possession game. You yes. have to make, make the most out of every possession you get because they're going to be few. Right. There's not going to be any 10 and 12 possessions for each one. It's no. going to be a short number of possessions. You've got to make them count. Franklin Thompson back deep to receive. The last time Boonville kicked off, they did kick it deep to Franklin. Kent will kick it deep. Franklin's going to go back and take it at about the 15. He's going to cut it back upfield. He's got some room. He goes right around the right side. He will get out to about the 32, 33 yard line. Good run back. He got some positive yards on it. He gained about, about 15 on that good return. Going to wait to see where the officials do mark it. I believe it's a 33 yard line. That is where it starts. Prescott needs a solid offensive drive here. Landon Cross will be in taking the place of Keenan Payton. So Landon Cross getting his opportunity tonight to step up to make some plays for the Cody Wolf offensive line.
Johnson drops back to pass. Getting a lot of pressure. He's going to step it up. He's going to throw it deep. He's got caught back there all alone. He's got it. He'll get down and go back to 12 yard line. Cox had his man beat. And a 50 yard pass, Jim. Yeah. In the air. Johnson's got a strong arm. Wow. Johnson made that play. He had, he had to rush. Folks getting to after him in the backfield. He broke the, the, their coverage and just threw a deep and said, go, go get, get it. it. That's it. 54 yard pass play. Johnson gives the ball to Thompson. He gets away from one man. Touch it up. He'll be down about the 11 yard line. Good run by Thompson. Put the pressure on him right here, Jim. Keep it, keep this. Hurry up offense, keep it going. Make a call. Arnett and Nolan come in. Franklin and Haney come out. Second down and about two. Strong, strong in the backfield. Power formation. Johnson gives the ball to Thompson up the middle. He'll have a first down about the two yard line. Just good power football, Jim. Hand it off in the middle, push and go get what you can. It will be first and goal from the two. And a Mack tire first down. Same formation. Strong running formation right here, Jim. Johnson gives the ball to George. He slides the room. Touchdown. He is. You got to make that one, Riff. In for the touchdown. Good answer, good answer right there. Boomer went in, took that first possession, scored. Prescott come back and answer back and we'll take the lead. That will be an all care touchdown for the Curly Wolves. Bring it 23-20, 409. Big make, extra point. Make every possession count. Robidon on for the extra point. Kick is up. It is good. And Prescott leads 24 to 20. You can hear the excitement in the crowd on both sides. It's getting loud. We can't even hear ourselves. <laughs> Prescott's had three very big pass plays tonight. And that's what it takes. Prescott's a running team, but they're going to they're push you down right. field. You've got to cover, which pulls folks out of that line to be able to run. Makes both of them work better. Took all, risk it all of one minute and 11 seconds to get a back the lead. Well, this may be a track meet for it's yeah. over, Jim. The turtle in the hair, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's really what it's more like. There's got to be one stop. That's what the whole key to this whole thing. You've got to have one stop. Prescott had the one stop in this first half. they got to find that one stop in the second half. With that wind blowing in our back, Jim, I'd have to see how far Rabadon could kick one you of these legs. Pin them deep, make them go long and field. Back deep for the Bearcats will be Robertson, Hessen, uh, excuse me, Robertson, uh, Hessen, and also Dobbs. Robert on squib kick. Dobbs will pick it up at the 20. Trying to get around that. He's got room on that left side. Good job by Gully to get a hold of him. He'll be out of bounds at the 40. Good coverage on that one. Did a good job getting him to the sideline and stopped him at the 40. About a 15, the 15 is, 16 yard run back. That's having a better effect than your high kick you were doing for early in the game, so that's effective. Well, they've got to feel that they've got to make the play. Right. 38 yard line. <laughs> First and 10 Bearcats. Hessen to Robertson, that same little play they've been running. He's gonna be stopped for a gain of a yard. Oh, saying you can go well one too many times yep. and they did on that one. Defensive end played his position and stopped it. 
One thing Prescott's got to make sure is they don't lose sight of their position. Franklin can't lose sight of who's coming around this end. You got to make sure you stay with the receivers on the left end in case Robertson decides to stop and throw a pass. Well, the key to this offense is to to, to block up and stop yes. that outside. Right. Mike, turn them inside where your players are. Slinker gives the ball to Ray. He'll be stopped for a game of about three. Good job. And that's where you look that quarterback to pull it and try to get around that end. Yep. That, that cornerback has got to stay home. Got to be there. Don't bite on it. Third down and seven. Franklin has got to stay home. Big, big, big play here for the Curly Wolf defense. The fans are definitely pumped up. The sideline is pumped up. All right, K pulls on this end. He's going to stay hooked. Robertson in motion. Stays in the eye. Ball is kept by Sleeker. He'll get a first down out of midfield. That's the first time we've seen that play. Great job by Slinker. Same play, try to that dive down the middle. Yep. He's riding him and pulling it. First and 10 now for the Bearcats in Prescott territory. 2.23 to play third quarter. Ball given to Robertson. He cuts it up and he's got room. He breaks free. Thompson will get him out of bounds. Great runner is Robertson. He's tough. Got to wrap him up. Missed tackle on that side. They had him locked up and he broke through it and he was gone. About a 25 yard run there by Robertson. Two back-to-back -back plays for the Bearcat D, uh, offense to get the ball down inside the 25 of the Curly Wolves. Sinker keeps it. He's bottled up this time. Franklin's there, so is Thompson. But Franklin was almost blocked inside again. But he didn't quit. He stayed after it and still got in on the play. Turned him inside yes. and had help coming. Make it a second down and eight. Franklin just needs to stay on that outside. Just stay that. Be the outside gotta, he's man. He's got to go there and sit on it. Don't, Don't worry, worry about, about the rest of it. Yeah. Don't worry about nothing on the inside. Just stay outside. Sinker pitch to Ray. He cuts it up. Good hard run there by Ray. They're trying to push him forward. He'll get inside the 20 to about the 18. Make it about a third down and four. Good job. They ran that power, power to the left side, and everybody played their position and held it. Be third, third and a short five. Find Mr. Robertson this time. Third and five. Look for 12 or two. Thinker gives to Ray. <laughs> He'll have the first down. He breaks free. Touchdown, Boomble. <laughs> well, Prescott forgot that number, the first thing. You got to stop the football. Fire football right up the middle. <laughs> he broke the line. The linebacker split. Yep. And he was wide open down the middle. Boomble takes the lead, 26-24. This game is going to be this way to the end. Hessen for the hole, Kent for the extra point. Snap is down, the kick is up. And this one is good. <laughs> 41 seconds to go here in the game, in the third quarter, excuse me. Boomble well, leading 27-24. If folks wanted a football game, they're here. Yes. Great ball game. Who's going to flinch first? It's time to bounce back. Got a whole quarter to play. Yeah. 
At least they'll break one here, Jim. Let's yep. get a special team <laughs> score. <laughs> I'll take it. Kent will get set to kick it away. Franklin and Thompson back deep to receive. Ball is kicked deep. Franklin will take it at about the 17. He finds the middle, cuts it upfield. Good return out to about the 33-yard line. Fans holler on a face mask, but they had him by the front jersey, Jim. Yeah, it looked clean to me. Good run back, still got pretty good position, about the 33-yard line. Osceola is now at 31 to 20 on rising. Three receivers to the right for the Curly Wolves. Thompson in the backfield with Johnson. Johnson drops back to pass. With a screen set up to Thompson, he cuts it upfield. If he can get free, oh! He's got some room. He gets down the sideline after the 48. Good job. He didn't get free. He didn't get free. He didn't get yep. free. Just a really <coughs> tough run by Thompson. Looked like he was going to be tackled two or three times. He just kept his legs pushing. Press is coming out here in the second half and opening up their offense a little more. Kind of by design. They ran the ball almost the whole first half, <coughs> except for, you know, a few big plays. Now they're going to come out here and open things up a little. Back now in the power running formation. Johnson gives the ball to George. George stopped after gain about two. Good tough tackle there by Hessen. That's going to be the last play of the third quarter. So as we end the quarter, this will be a shelter insurance quarter. If we start the fourth quarter, uh -oh. Boonville is leading 27 to 24. This is where games are won, Ralph. It's in the fourth quarter. This is what you work all summer for. This is what all the practices are for, those two-a-days in the hot summer. Well, Eddie Jackson used to say this is gut check time. That's it, gut check. Who wants it the worst? When you talk about momentum, it's just you can't really tell which way the momentum no. is going. It's going both ways now. It's just it's a very evenly matched game. You know, so who's going to flinch? Kind of like the boxers. Who's That's gonna, right. Who's going to get? Who's going to be still standing? Curly Woods are throwing the ball, but they're going to they're going to have to get a little little bit of protection for Johnson because he's having to scramble and try to get it out of there. Prescott will have this at a second and about eight on the 46-yard line of Boonville. As we start the fourth quarter. Two receivers to the left, Thompson in the backfield with Johnson. Little screen set up, two Cox. He has room up the middle. He'll have a first down. They set that one up real well, Jim. The, the outside receivers went deep. Cox peeled in under. It was a great, great call. Great screen. Gain of 14 yards. Johnson will keep it. Be tackled just inside the 30. Good positive run. Keep that clock running. Had a bank of delight first down on that last play. Mark up second, second to about six. Let's get now inside the 30 yard line. Johnson gives, to, keeps it. He's gonna cut it up. He's gonna gain about three down to the 25. Good tough run, there wasn't much there. He just put his head down and went and got a couple yards. Bring up a third and two, like third maybe two three. Like. Four down territory for the Prescott Curly Wolves. They need to get the first down right here. And get Boomba back on their heels. Johnson gives the ball to right. He's keeping it, cuts it upfield. He'll be down to about the 15-yard line. 
We got third down. Going Something back. that Prescott hasn't done yet tonight is that quarterback sweep. Well, going back to where they were with the smack over game yes. in the first half. Basically, fake it and pull it and go get what yardage you can. Looks like about third and three. Johnson gives the ball to Thompson. Oh, he's met right at the line of scrimmage. He's not going to get the first down. It's going to be a fourth down and about a yard. Well, I think in those situations, if I'm going to do that, I want George in the game to run that to get that power yard. It looked like he hit a brick wall there. Yes, he did. He, they stood him straight up. He's going to definitely be short, I believe, about a yard. It's going to be close. They're going to call it again. Yeah, he's right there at the sticks. He did get a, a bit better push than I thought he did. Well, this, this isn't a bad call, though, because we got glass. Get in there and make a call. Get yes. your play set, because you know a fourth down, we're going to go. Mm -hmm. Be nice to have that first down, but yes, get your play called right now. And this would look like it's going to be a little short. Yeah, I think he's going to be just maybe a half a football. Man. It's that close, you yeah. give it. <laughs> Referee's having to study on it. Yeah, That's he way can't too even close. Get down there to it. <laughs> Southern Graphics touchdown. Rabadon said to attempt the extra point. Kick is down. It is. Hole is down. Kick is up. It good. is good. <laughs> Eight fourteen to go in the fourth quarter. All right. As I went to halftime a while ago, went to the restroom. I saw Eddie Jackson down there. <laughs> He's gonna tell you right now, boys. We gotta make a play. Somebody. We got to stop them right here. I don't care who it is. Somebody make a play. We need a turnover. We need a stop right here. Got to have a stop on this drive. <clears throat> There's been only one punt tonight, and that's where after Prescott had a big stop on defense. Prescott got down there, stopped, stopped Boomel on the 12-yard line, ended up having to punt the ball out. Boomel has not punted at all tonight. As we talked earlier, I think the, the punters are going to get to watch the game yes. tonight. This has been an amazing game, offense and defense both. Oh, yes. And both of them are playing extremely well. And I don't want to jinx it, but nobody's made a mistake, and that's, that's, right. gonna, that's, that's probably right. the one that's going to co control this game, who makes the mistake. That's right. Preston needs to get this ball up here and get good coverage on it. Make a tackle right here. Robidon is lining up. To do more of a little high pooch kick to this side once again. There's that high wobbly kick. Yep, it's going to be dropped about the 39 yard line. Good job. I like didn't want to take a chance on a big return. It looked like a Ryan Nolan knuckleball coming yes. out. But really, that's not, that's good field position for your defense. They just need to make a stop on this defensive possession. One of the best high school games I've seen in my life. Robertson in motion. But this time it's given to Hessen. He'll be stopped for a gain of about four. Good job, Curly Will strung that one out. There was no place for him to go. He had to just get what he could. They run that back the other direction this time. They stay all the Curly Will stayed home. They were waiting on him. Second down and six. Slinker gives the ball to Ray. He knows Slinker keeps it. Scott for a loss. Good job by Rucker. Gillard and Rucker waiting on him there. I 
I'm going to ask Coach Patrick right here to call a run, Blitz. Send the, send the linebackers. Let's see if we can cause some disruption in the backfield. And tell the defensive end to stay home. Yes. Third down and five. Third and four. Robertson in motion. Left end. Robertson going back the other side. He's going to be close. He'll have the first down. He's going to be real close. There's another one there. Their left end jumped on that one, Jim. I didn't see that. Yeah, he, he flinched. First down. Yeah, he got it. It's a first down. He got it. But, he, but you can tell they don't have to measure it when it's theirs. <laughs> Come on, Thompson. Cheat up, Thompson. Slinker gives the ball to Ray. He's caught in the backfield by Gert. Cross. Good job by Gert. And that's what he was running earlier a while ago. He, he should have he faked that one and, yes. and made the pull, but he didn't make it. Gert was sitting there waiting on him, and he couldn't pull it. I thought that should have been for a loss, but second down and nine. Ball given to Robertson. Coming to the side, he gets around the edge. Good tackle there by Nolan. Makes it up. has been taught well to get a hold of a jersey oh, and not yeah. let it stretch. Yes. Because there was two people holding on that one. In right but in they're here. in close. Yep. Third down the college and coach teaches that. Uh, third and five. They got to get to the 41 yard line for the first down. Kesson in motion. Ball given to Ray. Oh, on the ball ground. On the ground. Ball. Mark it. I believe Pritchett came up with it. Referee shaking his head. Oh, it's fourth down. Uh, Ray got back on it. Oh, I don't know how he got it. Almost. <laughs> Almost. Fourth down. Two yards to go. Ball game right here. Make a play. Huge, huge play for both teams. 4.55 to play. Sleeker gives the ball to Ray. He has the first down. Ball would be marked at about the 38-yard line, I believe. Good hard run right there. It was. I mean, they've got the athletes. They've got the players to make the plays. First and 10 Bearcats. Ball's on the 38-yard line. Hessen in motion. Slinker gives the ball to Robertson. He catches it inside. He'll gain about two. We're we'll marking with just a gain of one. Second down and nine. Clock running down four minutes. I don't know if I've been to a game that's given me this so much adrenaline in a long time, Ralph. Hessen in motion. Slinker gives to Ray. He's going to have a good hard run of about five. He picked up about three. It's going to be third and five. Third, third and four looks like. Yep. Third and four. Defense needs to have a huge play right here. 
Needs something disruptive in the backfield. Puskett hasn't had many stops for a loss tonight. Hessen pitched into Robertson. Nobody on the left side. He'll get a first down. Thompson, he's still on his feet. They've got to wrap him up on his legs. You can't tackle him up high. Defensive end that time got caught cheating in. And let him get around the end. You got to make the tackle. Number two has been their hero tonight without a doubt. Gain of about 28 yards there. They're still not in the end zone. Got 2.54 to go. First and go Bearcats on the four. Hessen in motion. Slinker gives to Ray. Over to right tackle. Stopped to make it second down. Boonville in no hurry. No. They got 234 left. And I expect them to do a heavy dose of Ray. They'll take the clock down to the last second on every play. Prescott will have all three timeouts when they get the ball back. If there's any time. That's right. Boonville looks like they're going to call a timeout here. We're going to have a Max Tire timeout here. <laughs> 2 6 to play in the game. Prescott leads 31 to 27. Boonville has a second and goal at the two. You just gotta step up, Jim, here. You gotta make you gotta make the play. Two great football teams have shown up tonight. OCL is still leading 31 to 20 over Ryzen in the other semifinal game tonight. Both of these teams have played their hearts out tonight. I don't know nothing. I don't know that ever I've seen one that was this tough. No. Contested all the way through. <clears throat> I'm not sure, Jim, if I wasn't Boonville, I would try not to score on I this know. play. Yeah, to make the clock run some more. Slinker gives the ball to Ray over the right side. Touchdown. He'll be in end zone. Touchdown. Not a bad thing for Prescott, to be honest. Gives you two or four minutes to work with. We know Prescott can score fast. They've already done it. Important extra point. Yes, it is. Kent on for the extra point. Snap is down. Kent's kick, it's up. It is good. 2.03 to play. Boone believes 34 to 31. We talked earlier about the person that has it the last is going to win this ball game. Prescott has their opportunity right yeah. here. Come back and win this game. No mistakes. Drive it down and score. And they're capable of doing it to 2 0 3. Oh, it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Steady dose of Cox. I'm sure Boone was going to be playing deep. Try to, right. try to eliminate those long throws. But Prescott doesn't have to get away from the run game. No. They've got all three timeouts. Clock will stop on first down. And remember, Prescott only has to get a field goal to tie it up. But we want to get in the end zone and win it. What will Boonville do on their kickoff? I would not kick it deep to our backs. <laughs> Boonville 
Kent set to kick it away. All comes down to the next two minutes and three seconds. Kick goes deep to Franklin. He takes it at the 18. Comes right up the sideline. Will be tackled at the 30. One fifty-five left in this one. Prescott got 70 yards to go. It all comes down. Don't panic. To play your yards. game. You don't have to get it all at once. You got three timeouts. Get a couple different plays called right here. Prescott has multiple receivers they can use. They'll send three receivers to the left. Thompson, Cox, and Haney. Franklin and Glass to the right. Johnson, he's going to step up. He's got a lot of room to run. He'll run for the first down and get out of bounds. Stop the clock. And that's part of the problem when you run yes. to prevent defense. If he breaks those first three down, he got room to go. He I needs to look to do it every time. I if think he gets Bumble's going to come out. They're going to rethink this. They're not going to just run those three down linemen. Good 12-yard run right there. Just pick up another one right here. Ball at the 48-yard line, first and 10. Johnson going to give to Thompson at the middle. He'll get out to midfield. The head boom will rethought that. They came back, they brought the linebackers back up, but he still got an eight-yard gain on it. Press it quick Good job. line of scrimmage, plenty of time. Second down and three. Johnson, he's going to keep it. He runs right out the middle, first down, breaks outside. He cuts it up there to the 30, 25, first down, Tony Walls. Tripped over a man or he would have scored. One night team to, to get play. Get that line of scrimmage and get it going again. First of all, time out, time out. Time out. Settle everybody down. Plenty of, plenty of timers, 119, we got two timeouts left. You come in here to huddle, you want to get everybody calm down, call a couple plays and get it yes. set. Run your first play, get back on the line of scrimmage and do it again. As we've already said, you don't have to throw it. You've got time to run it. Use your whole offensive playbook. Prescott has been able to they use the middle of the field because they've got everybody spread out right now. Well, Boomer's thinking big play, Prescott's saying chunk. Yes. Great football game. Have an all-care timeout here. One nineteen to play. First and ten, Carly Wolves. Thompson in the backfield with Johnson. Johnson's going to keep it. Cuts it up inside. He's going to get down inside the 20. Looks like there'll be a timeout probably here, baby, by the Curly Wolves. Waiting to see. Nope, they're going to let the clock run. Get on the line, but run it. Second down and about six. Inside a minute to play. Johnson gives the ball to Thompson. He cuts it up. Nowhere to go for him. He'll be sacked. Time out. About the 20. Third down. Prescott now has two plays to get the first down. <laughs> Boone was ready for that. This is not a championship atmosphere game. I don't know what oh, it is. I agree. Offensive line has to do a great job of blocking right here. Prescott needs to get down inside the 15 for the first down. They need to get down to about the 14, 13 yard line. Thank <laughs> you. 
we're sitting here just waiting for the play because we know that this is a situation here where anything can happen. Cody Wolves have the offensive players to make the plays. Somebody just has to come up with the play. It's where you make a break. you got to step up and make the play, whether it's offense or the defense. Johnson will roll out to his right. He's going to keep it on the quarterback sweep. He cuts it upfield. He'll be down inside the 10 for the first down. Good run. Good call. Power formation football. Get everybody in there. Pull everybody. Make the run, quarterback. you got extra blockers in there to make that run. First and goal, Cody Wolves. Ball's at the nine-yard line. 40 seconds to play. They're showing two timeouts. But we've only got one. The I think we've already called two. Johnson gives the ball to Thompson up the middle. He gets down to about the seven. Preston will call a timeout. 24 seconds to play. They have one timeout remaining. I don't think so. This sets it up perfect though, Ralph. The ball's in the middle of the field. I think you run Johnson on that sweep around the right. It's worked for at least five or six yards every play. We're coming up and got the five, I'll sit on the five yard line. There's lots of different options you can do right here. But one of them is probably gonna be try to get to that outside edge. Yes. Put it out there on a one-on-one -on -one and make somebody make a play on Thompson. Nope. Got down to 20, 24 seconds Let's left. Take it down and goal. Prescott, one timeout remaining. Thirty-four to thirty-one. Prescott trails. They just need to get in the end zone right here. No mistakes. Johnson on the quarterback sweep around the right. He cuts it up. He'll be stopped at the four. Prescott. We'll call their final timeout with 14 seconds to play. Well, that was the play I would have called too. That was it. Well, now move, move, situation. Move made a great play. They strung it out yes. and they didn't let him get to the corner. So just inside the five. You have to throw the ball here, Ralph. It's third down inside the five. You've got no timeouts. You've got to be able to make sure that you are able to. Uh, we may have one more. I was thinking that was our third one. I, I think so. They still show one on the clock, but I believe that's the third timeout. What do you call, Jim? I, I, I think you've got to roll out. Try to get the ball in Cox's hands and the, by throwing the ball or give Johnson a chance to run the ball in, but you've got to do with a, a rollout pass here. Cox is going to be on that left side. you got a lot of room you've to work to, with. you got to get to the outside. You, you kind of run, run a little uh, corner route with Cox. Try to throw it to him over that corner in the end zone. Kind of a, kind of a. Johnson, they're throwing the ball. Oh, it's intercepted in the end zone. Boomba. Cut in front of the ball, and that will end it. Ball game, Boomer folks. will win. I can't say enough good about both teams here, Jim. Uh, that was, that was, this is the battle of the century. I have not seen yes. a game that was played this tough, this long, to come down to one play in the end. It breaks your heart, but that, that's... Brashears jumped that route. Cox was there. And Ryan threw the ball low. And Brashears jumped in front of the route, intercepted the ball on the two-yard line with eight seconds to play. The play was there. He just didn't get the ball up high enough to give Cox a chance to go get it. And you can't blame him. I mean, it, no, was, no. it, was, it was a great play. Great play by Brashears. Excellent football game. Uh, this is as good as it gets, Jim. I'm, you know, I hate the Curly Wolves come out on the short end, but, folks, this was a, a battle all the way to the end. We'll take this time to thank all of our sponsors, Bank of Delight, Bank of Prescott, Southern Graphics, Prescott Automotive, 
Max Tire and Home Center, All Care, Shelter Insurance, Eli Ratcliffe, Cofield, and Firestone. We thank Swart Not Today for bringing you the ball games all year long. We appreciate the opportunity we've had, Ralph and I, to call these games. It's been a privilege. It is. This Curly Wood football team has fought hard. They played hard. Uh, you know, we wish Booneville Bearcats luck next week as they face either Ryzen or Osceola in the championship game. I have a feeling it will be Osceola as they were ahead 31 to 20 just a few moments ago. They dropped to a knee, and that's it. That's the ball game. Congratulations to the Boonville Bearcats. We talked about it all game long. Who would come up with a stop? Well, it was the Bearcats. Well, we talked about the last position, and that's what it came down to. Right. Boonville made the play. Great all the way through, but Boonville made the last play. That's as good as it gets. Osceola is ahead 37 to 28 in the other semifinal. Just a great football game. Two great football teams. We, uh, we, we want to say thank you for, for allowing us to bring you these games. We say good luck to Boonville next week. They deserve it. They played extremely hard, and uh, I believe they'll win next week. I, I said before this was a championship game, in my opinion, and it came down to it. I think the winner of this one is going to go on and win next week. We, Ralph Harris, Jim Honey, we thank you for the opportunity again for us to be able to bring the games to you here at Swark Not Today. We wish you well, and we'll probably see you again next season. Hope so.